For those of you who've been following my work since the beginning, you remember back in 2003 I covered this landmark paper in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, Human Intake and Incorporation of an Immunogenic Non-Human Dietary Sialic Acid. If you take autopsy samples, you can find proof of a molecule called NUGC in human tumors. Uh, you can see it's stained brown here in human breast cancer, melanoma, ovarian cancer, brain tumors. Now this mystified researchers because human beings are genetically unable to produce this substance. But other animals can, maybe, the researchers proposed. Human beings absorbed it from eating other animals. Well, to test this, because it's found in animals and animal products, the researchers had to first eat vegan for a few days to clear their system. No animal-derived ingredients in foods or drugs or shampoo. And then they basically drank a glass of diluted pig mucus, and within days this invading meat molecule could be found oozing from their bodies, in their saliva, urine, even their hair clippings. Because new GC-type compounds are not found in plants, and new GC is not synthesized by microbes, the dietary source of uh, new GC must be foods of animal origin. The metabolic incorporation of this molecular Trojan horse, if you will, from animal products may possibly be contributing to the higher rates of cancer and heart disease among meat eaters. This is what they think may be happening. Comes into our mouths from animal products in our diet, incorporates itself into our cells, uh, leading to chronic inflammation directly, and the formation of antibodies, which that can then lead back to more inflammation, uh, which may partially explain the increased risk of cancer and heart disease uh, noted in those consuming animal products. In contrast, uh, vegetarianism decreases the risk of cancer and heart disease, although you know, saturated fat in meat and dairy products is the usual explanation for that fact. Maybe we should start looking into the association between new GC and the incidence of both cancer and ischemic heart disease. And hey, what about autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis? Maybe that's why vegetarian diets seem to improve rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, maybe that's why you don't see rheumatoid arthritis in other uh, great apes. Right? Maybe the incorporation of this reactive kind of alien molecule into inflamed tissues such as arthritic joints could potentially be aggravating arthritis. But you take you know, animal products away, and you know, within weeks uh, rheumatoid sufferers may feel better.